Good morning and good day, whatever it is uh, for you guys, whenever you guys get around to watching my video. I always like to say good morning because I usually start my video in the morning. So good morning to all of you guys that are watching it in the morning and uh, good day or good evening, whatever it is when you get a chance to watch this video. I know recently I have started releasing my videos in the evening and one of the reasons is because I want to test different ideas but look at that beautiful Peterbilt right there man that's gorgeous everybody's trying to leave the truck stop up here in Rochelle Illinois right now yeah we had us a good night sleeping here we uh, managed to pull in here and capture one of the uh, last available parking spot and I guess why it wasn't taken yet is because uh, you have to kind of blindside back into it but I managed to do it no problem I had no issue doing it feet, turn left on, and I guess uh, and then turn left everybody else was uh, too scared to try it I guess and uh, they just went and parked uh, on the site somewhere or whatever but right now it looks kind of empty in here but Last night when I got here, well, it was close to 10 o'clock already last night when I uh, when I got in here. So, yeah, <laughs> you'd be expecting this place to be full. But, and it was, it really was. So, uh, as I told you guys, I was extremely, extremely happy that uh, I managed to pick up that... Uh, a reload you know so now I'm already on my way home instead of sitting here all day right and it was a beautiful sunrise this morning again they even got a chapel right here if you guys want to go to church or you know chapel kind of thing right I wonder where that Peterbilt is going he's turning right up there huh he might be going down there somewhere to pick up some cattle or pig or whatever because he's uh, he's a livestock uh, hauler from the looks of things, he's got one of those trailers, right? I guess he's following the other livestock over there. Oh, come on, GPS, let's go away. All right, looks like we're in the clear. Let's get back towards the interstate. I think I'm not gonna go very super far, but, oh, it's spinning a little it's bit up here. Can you believe that? Left on by L38. Must be a little bit slick in some areas, eh? I know this lane also turns usually, that's what I think, yeah, uh, this lane also turns. Most of the guys always go into that lane, but this lane also turns. If you look carefully up there by the uh, traffic light, you'll see it. See right there? See, now we can go. And uh, I know I gotta get into the left lane there later, but, you know, both of these lanes are turning lanes. But here we go. Look at that beautiful sun right there. That's a nice sight to see. Alrighty. Now what I was going to say, I don't think I'm going to go too super far right away. I think what I'm going to do is uh, go up to the Lodge just there by South Beloit. And then uh, I got to get some fuel, right? I'm below... Uh, the entrance to the left on I-39 North, US 51 North. And then of course our J has got to interrupt us, right? But I got below half a tank of fuel already, so... Uh, I don't think I'm going to make it home like that, so we got to get some go-go juice, yes indeed, so I'm going to go up there probably, get me some go-go juice, I got me a good shower yesterday, so we'll see, I don't, you know, I don't think I'm going to take me a shower today, I know I'll be home tomorrow, probably by it's lunch, so miles, take the entrance to the left on. I I'll probably just north wait till, uh, north. till I get home tomorrow, take me a shower at the house, right? But yeah, not a single speck of snow up here from what I can tell. And I'm still a little bit sick. <coughs> Excuse me. I still got to sneeze every once in a while and all that fun stuff. But I didn't, I forgot that that lane over there is actually a turning lane too. So I could have been in that lane too. But oh well, this time we're in this lane. So whatever. We got the arrow to go across, so we'll get back at it. And uh, oh, look at that! There's even a couple of guys that parked over here. 
Well, I don't see no signs that they're not allowed to. I know most of the states nowadays, they don't allow you parking on the ramp anymore, but maybe still a few uh, states allow that, but I wouldn't, uh, I wouldn't take a chance like that. Before I would do that, I would go in there and pay for a parking spot. Especially now as a company driver, I've heard that we get uh, reimbursed if we have to pay for parking somewhere. And I know there's a big debate sometimes on is it a good idea, is it not a good idea. I say, I've said this before, it is a good idea to get paid parking spots, especially if you got to deliver somewhere late in the evening and you know there's a truck stop just down the road where you can reserve a spot, you know, then it's a really good idea. Now, I do dislike some of these truck stops, they're taking way too much advantage of it, I think. And I see the point too, they're trying to make money too, right? But we are too, right? Like for instance, the TA up there, uh, I always say it Dayton or whatever, but I don't think it's uh, uh, called exactly like that. I might be misspelling it, but it's the TA truck stop just before Dallas, Texas. And, and when you get in there, literally, their half of their parking lot is for paid parking only, you know? That I have a problem with. Because there is not that many truck stops in the area, so they take full advantage of that, right? It's like, because trucks are coming in, they want to deliver in Dallas, right? They have to park there, right? And then you got half of the parking lot reserved for paid parking. So they're making a killer amount of money every night for guys that are basically forced to pay right and that I have an issue with but you know if you have a let's say a hundred let's say a hundred uh, 130 uh, spot parking lot and let's say you make 20 of those spots for paid reservation parking that I have no problem with you know no big deal right you still have at least 100 or 110 spots that are available, right? But, you know, if you got like 70% of, of your, <laughs> or 50% or of your parking lot that's for paid parking, I have an issue with that, but. Anyways, I know I'm rattling on here. It may not be interest to you guys. You might, you guys might not be truck drivers. You guys probably don't care, but hey, you know, I, I show you guys what's going on in the world and I tell you the honest truth uh, about everything and and that's no different here, right? I give my opinions occasionally and uh, give you guys some information occasionally and have a little educational video every once in a while and, you know, just trying to entertain you guys, right? And, and show you what this industry is like. What is it like being a truck driver, right? That's what it's all about, trying to share with you guys my daily experience and my life basically right so i appreciate you guys tuning in for another show stick around for the rest of the show don't go nowhere all right you guys we just made it down here to the fly and hook as you guys can see and uh i already went down to the loves down the, down the road here and uh, filled up my truck i was going to show you guys that but then trucker jukebox called me as you guys know just about any time I'm out here and somebody calls me, right? And it was no different today. So, uh, yeah, this is only a couple of miles down the road, so I figured I uh, I would go down here and uh, I definitely want to show you my breakfast this morning. Oh my, look at that nice Kenworth right there. That's a beautiful, beautiful truck. Oh man, anyways, I'm hungry. So let's go inside and get us a good breakfast. Alrighty guys, it is time for breakfast. So let's have us a take a look. Let me see if I can actually do this. Yeah, we gotta turn this around, show you guys real good what we're having, right? Nice steak and eggs. Got us a nice orange juice, good cup of coffee. And let's have us a fantastic breakfast, guys. What do you guys think? I haven't had this in a good long while, so I think I'm due for one. I think it is getting closer and closer to that time where I'm gonna take me a little bit of a break. Well, you know, since I took me a little bit of a break the first thing this morning, uh, after only driving for a little bit, I'm gonna need to take me another half an hour break somewhere. I'm not sure if I'm gonna do that here or not, but I mean, I still got five hours of drive time remaining, but I gonna have to go use the man's room very soon, so 
after that big meal, you know. Anyways, I am enjoying the beautiful sunshine up here. I'm telling you guys, it's beautiful up here today. At least we got no snow or anything like that. But however, they are saying that there is another system coming across Oklahoma and Texas and all that a little bit there. And it's coming north again. So I'm kind of glad I'm going that way because the system is heading that way right behind me. So yeah, I got the rest area coming up here. So I'll go in there, make me a little bit of a pit stop. We'll see if we see anything interesting. If we do, we might go for a little walk. Who knows, we'll see, right? Anyhow, I just figured I'd turn on my cameras. It's been a little while since I've been cruising. Been on the phone since, <laughs> pretty much since I left the Flying J there earlier. So, figure it's time to turn the camera back on and show you guys a little bit on what's going on, right? All right, you guys, we have made us a pit stop and I have been driving for 10 years already and I have never, ever, discovered this trail up here technically it's closed right now but I like to take chances every once in a while so I brought my big gear out brought my camera bag out and uh, guess what I'm going me for a little bit of a walk it's a beautiful sunny day today why not it's supposed to be a beautiful overlook over the country here a little bit. I'm climbing constantly, and uh, I guess this goes all the way up to the top of this mountain edge here, I guess. And then you can kind of overlook the, the uh, landscape up here, right? So, yeah, take a look at this gorgeous, gorgeous area up here. Look at that. It looks like it's over there. I'm gonna be able to overlook this landscape here, so. I also brought my short lens just in case I want to take pictures of the landscape up here and then I'm going to do that. See guys, I'm telling you, every time somebody's got to call me and none other than Howard again, right? Of course, but I'm busy right now. I'm enjoying myself. This is what I love about this country, right? Way down there, that's where I came from. But anyways, let's go up here and enjoy nature, guys. I really love it. I think right over here, you're gonna be able to overlook this beautiful country. I don't know if it even goes any further. It doesn't look like, no, it looks like this is the end of it. So, but that's a good walk down here. Oh yeah, this is gonna be nice. I should have brought my tripod because it doesn't look like I'm going to be able to put my camera on here anywhere too much, but are you guys ready for the view? Let's take a look. Oh my goodness. This is a beautiful view up here. I know the GoPro never does justice, but this is absolutely gorgeous from up here. So I think I'm going to take me a couple of pictures over here with my camera. And see how they turn out. I know it's kind of dry and whatever, but anyways, that's what we're gonna do. So let's go ahead and get set up and see what it looks like. After going for a nice little walk like that, that makes you feel really, really good. I'm telling you guys, that was definitely worth it, guys. Going for a little bit like a walk like I just did there. I mean, it's a good, uh, Good little walk up there you know and you're walking uphill going up there right so that was nice I you know I've been driving for 10 years now and uh, I have never realized that they had a uh, little bit of a trail up there I never knew that continue on this I guess road I, uh, 131 miles just never really paid too much attention to it I guess I stopped in this rest area several times. I, I don't think I've ever stayed here for the night because Black River Folks of Flying J and all that is just down the road. So I never really stayed in here for the night, but I've par uh, parked in here before and whatever, right? But I never went to the other side. So I never realized that they had that little trail up there. So now I know I'll remember that, but yeah, that was a nice little trail up there. I liked it. It was fun walking up there. Yeah, it was a little bit of icy spots here and there. But I mean, I didn't 
come across any birds either but yeah at least a nice beautiful overview over this landscape like there's actually some hills behind here and stuff looks actually not too bad you know yeah it would look nicer in fall or uh, or in summer when everything is nice and green or when it's fall all the beautiful colored trees that would actually look really nice taking a picture over looking all of that but hey it's winter right now so you get what <laughs> what it is right now right basically dry trees that's all you get right now but anyhow let's hammer down and continue on with our journey i have now made it up to suck center minnesota at the walmart yeah why did we stop here because my wife needed more hardware a hardwood polishing product and uh, a big bummer they no longer sell it in store you now have to order it online to get it and because I don't live in the US I can't get it they don't sell it in Canada not that particular one I think I told you guys before also got me this stuff right here clean my teeth sometimes and uh, the wife was also out of this type of seasoning she really enjoyed this one I don't know how good you guys can actually see it let me see here yeah it shouldn't be too much of a shine it looks pretty good this is the product that I am running out of and you guys can probably read it if you can yeah it's a uh, body lotion and uh, so I tried finding it here again and I guess they replaced it with this stuff right here because I couldn't find this one anymore and I even asked them and they said nope if it's not on the shelf we don't have it so this is the next best thing which is the same brand name you know whatever and uh, so uh, we ended up shopping here a little bit 13 bucks and uh, 95 cents but hey that's it we're done for today I figured I'll just park here for the night and call it a day did my little bit of shopping here and I could have gone down probably to Fargo but you know what it's already 7 30 by the time I parked here I said you know what that's late enough I'll just do the rest tomorrow so anyhow appreciate you guys watching my today's vlog again don't forget to leave a big fat thumbs up and share the video if you're new to our channel We'll love to have you on board by hitting that subscribe button and don't forget to hit that little bell because then you'll be notified whenever a new video is uploaded and also don't forget to leave a comment and read all the links in the description box below you can learn something from it I'm sure you can anyways with that being said I hope you enjoyed it we'll see you again here tomorrow have a great day everybody